Hello guys, it's Ellie and on this channel I discover adventures and unusual locations in Russia. During this winter I'm on the expedition to the far north of the country. Now I'm in the capital of the Komi Republic, Sikhtivkar. I already have a video about Sikhtivkar, but this time it's not my final destination. As today I set out for one of the seven wonders of Russia. I have all this stuff that I hope is gonna keep me warm there. Today I go to the plateau Man Pupunyor. What is Seven Wonders of Russia, you will ask? It's a project that was organized in Russia to establish most amazing wonders of the West country. Russian citizens voted and defined seven of such wonders, and a group of mysterious stone idols in the Ural Mountains named Man Pupunyor was also included in the list. Man Pupunyor is one of the most inaccessible places of Russia. You can reach it from three republics. The first option is to start off in Sverdlovsk region from Yekaterinburg city. Another option is to start in Perm region in Perm city. You can book a helicopter or even walk for two weeks if you can. But in winter you can start off in the Komi Republic and reach the plateau on snowmobiles, which I decided to do, and it will take seven days to go there and back. We've arrived to one of these cafes nearby the road. People who work here can stay here for a month because for 100 kilometers there is nothing. A typical cafe where travelers like us have a break. In our team we have three Italians. Perché hai deciso andare a Man Pupunior? Perché è un posto bellissimo. E tu? Eh, perché è un posto assurdo, un posto, ho visto le foto e credo sia è alieno, unico. È alieno. È la prima volta per te in Russia? No, no. sono venuto in Russia boh, quattro volte, cinque. Wow! E al Baikal due volte, eh, Mosca anni fa, poi adesso stavolta. On our way we stopped at the abbey which was built back in 1385. The building was almost destroyed in the USSR, but restored in 1994. А правда, что здесь где-то запрятано золото? Я думаю, что неправда. Это просто, ну, вымысл басни. Потому что кто сколько не искал, никто ничего не находил. Но все равно ходят с металлоискателями, да? Но они ищут не золото, они ищут металл, который, чтобы сдать и получить денежку. А почему именно здесь ищут? Да, потому что здесь и совхоз был, и колхоз, потом здания разрушались, много металла осталось после разрушения зданий. Рядышком стоял двухэтажный пятикупольный собор, огромный. Где этот весь кирпич нету? Развезли баржами на разные строительные объекты. Да и местных жителей, если кирпич под ногами валяется, зачем покупать кирпич для, печ для печей, правильно? Печки тоже, я смотрю, из старинного кирпича. Mind Pupunyor is located so far from civilization, it's so remote it's that very few people have ever visited it. Even few Russians know about this place, so I'm surprised to see Italians here. Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard about the place Mind Pupunyor or you just learned about it from my video. Ragazzi, per voi fa freddo oggi o no? No. No, 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 siamo abituati, si sta bene. E in Italia avete inverno come questo o no? Beh, nel mio paese sì, anche peggio proprio. <ride> Meno 30. Precipitevolissime volmente. Precipitevolissime volmente. Mm. Ah, ah, no? Precipitevolissime volmente. Ma sì. queste sono svegli. 
<ride> Super califragilistica e spiraglioso Super califragilistica e spiraglioso No We have arrived to Troetska Pichorsk and that's our first destination on our trip we will spend the night here and now time for the Komi traditional wow. dinner baked fish sigma and shangi how do you like it? yeah, I like it so, maybe mm -hmm. drink it ah, the elixir is a picture <laughs> elixir, that our Russian friends brought some drink here <laughs> just a little bit of homemade vodka а вам достаточно этого будет на эту поездку? Ура! Ура! The next day we drove for 150 kilometers in a car and then it was time to change our vehicle. Our guide is Alexei and we're gonna start. Гидано, добывай! Окей! Чи видимо? Every 15-20 kilometers on the way to Манпупунер there are such shelters for the travelers just in case if you are cold or something happened in the road. Андиамо дормира ква! Окей, okay, чао! Чао, чао! There is a tree on our way. We need to clean the road somehow. Yay! The way is cleaned and we can proceed. late evening and we arrived to Kardon Chezhin Pichorsky. I didn't expect that it's gonna be so nice as here. I thought that we're gonna live in some barrels <laughs> like in the mountain camping but it's a wooden house which has two floors. The girls are gonna stay at the second... Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Alexei is our guide and he built this whole house himself. Так, скажите, за сколько вы построили этот дом? Три mm. месяца. Вот как за три месяца это возможно? Тут два этажа. У нас было шесть человек. Как вы сюда завезли все стройматериалы? А, теплоходом заповедника. Ага. А остальную часть возили ребята на лодках. 80 лодок. Загружали, грубо говоря, там по 20 досок. Uh -huh. Или там 6 листов металла. Uh -huh. И сколько здесь уже было туристов? <laughs> Я не И сколько стран? Стран? Ну, да, стран-то немного. Ну, может, 10. I have a tradition on my channel to hide my Troshka dolls with a note from me and 100 rubles in places that I go to. I'm happy to hide it in the Komi Republic this time. I gave it to Alexei. 
our tour guide without whom this trip would be absolutely impossible. All the places where we drive by snowmobiles are located in a national park, which is closed for preservation by the government. To visit Mani Pupunyor, you must have permission to enter the territory of the reserve. And there are only several people in Russia who can get you a permission and guide you there. One of them is Alexei. He will meet you in Sektivkar, and then you won't have to worry about anything. As you have seen, he even built a house in the forest for his tourists, so he will take care of you. He has tours to Mani Pupunyor in winter and in summer. If you would like to join such adventure, just go on his website or just leave him a private message on WhatsApp or email and say that you came from my channel. This will give you 10% off for his tours. And the first person who books a tour with him will get my Matryoshka doll on the arrival to Sektivkar. Day 3. Today we need to pass 110 kilometers on snowmobiles. And it's my turn to drive. <laughs> Andiamo! Aiuto! Help me! Help me! Devi andare Sei pronto? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Guys, you can imagine how strong the wind is when you drive, it's crazy. It's so cold, but at the same time beautiful around you, so you almost, almost forget about the cold. Oh, such an adventure. It's also a bit tiring to drive, but we almost arrived to the mountain camp. Now we're gonna have a little break, because we still have like about 50 kilometers to go or 40 but it takes quite a long time just look at these views where we're having a break what do we have here <laughs> some italian taralli and parmesan this is what a break looks like when you are on a trip with italians Алексей, что это у нас тут такое? Квас? Подозрительный какой-то квас. Вот. Давай, Фабрицо, тост говори. Тост? Тост. Коса де импортанта. Окей. Ну, вы дорога риба. Да-да. Кюдано. Для примера, для прима вольта перте контур и гато ди неве. Ио. Sì, sì, gatto di neve, sì. È duro? Difficile? Sì, qui nel fiume è molto difficile. C'è la neve fresca, è molta e si fa molto fatica ad andare dritti. Ma è interessante? Insomma, eh, sì, diciamo di sì, dai. E a te piace? Sul fiume no. In mezzo ai boschi è bellissimo. In mezzo ai boschi è bellissimo. E ti piace condurre con me? Certo. Ma come no? Ma stiamo scherzando? Alexei, a Namani Pupunior io do zimo e letto o le ossini e vesno e toge? Vesno e nepo, no, in febbre. Pescom, da? No, letto e ossini non possono dobrarsi nella lotta. È toge 5 giorni. A se polnosti pescom e ti to è te scolca? Era 2 nidele, 200 e 100 km, da? No, un ribato per me come spasso. A ne chiedili. Как оно? Я там не ходил. Очень красиво. Да, ну. Обратно вы на вертолете, да? И как вам? Вот, отлично. Хотим еще. have a little accident here just a bit stuck in snow now we need to take this sledge Whew, good to go
we're just a bit stuck again here in a bit of snow look at the quantity of snow here Устал, малек? Немножечко. Now we need to make a new road here. With the Russian men like this, I'm not scared of anything. <laughs> We just arrived to the mountain camp Vologodskaya Grani. We're gonna spend the night here and early morning we're going to see the plateau Mani Kupunya. Вы тут по три месяца живете, получается? А какие тут есть развлечения? Туристов ловить. А много приходит без разрешения? Вот зимой еще пока не было. А летом да, были. И что, им штраф какой-то? Там небольшой, 3-4 тысячи. Это же заповедник, здесь ничего нельзя. А у вас есть Wi-Fi? Да, да. 15 гигов на месяц? Да. Мы за первые 10 дней их сливаем. А потом сидим без интернета. Ну вам нравится такая работа? Конечно, нравится. Маньпу Пунер has a lot of names. Маньпу Пыгнер, Балвана Из, Манси Балванс, or tourists usually call them just Пупы, as a short form of the whole name. According to Manse language, it's translated as small, idle mountain. Manse is a tiny minority in the far north of Russia, and they have many legends about this place. They consider it sacred, and before, no one except shamans could step on the plateau. These stone giants still keep their secrets, and not many people witness them firsthand. But when you do catch sight of it after days of reaching this place, it's a reward that will live in your heart forever. Marco, how are you? Bene. Quante ore stai qui? A domani. Siamo arrivati stamattina presto. Che ore saranno state? Le sette. Le sei. Le sei. Dalle sei di stamattina. Sì. Non abbiamo mangiato e ceneremo stasera. Noi siamo fotografi. Non abbiamo freddo, non abbiamo fame, non abbiamo sete. Ti piace Ele qui? Sì, fa l'osso. È bellissimo. E ti piace? Sì, è molto bello. Fa troppo caldo però. Un po' caldo. Un po' caldo fa. Ah, caldo. Sì, caldo. Caldo. Fa tanto caldo. It is said that if you touch this stone, not any stone, but this particular one, and make a wish, then it's gonna come true. But only women's wishes. I don't know why this stone is so 
sexist, but only women's wishes are gonna come true. Well, I made my wish. It's day five and today we're ready to start our way back home. I'm quite a bit sad because something happened yesterday when I was making the footage with a drone. The wind there was so strong that my drone was took by the wind and hit to one of the pillars of Man Pupunyor. And now my drone is there forever. It's like 30 meters high and I realized that I won't be able to take it. It was still connected to my phone though, so I started to download all the videos that I had. At least I hope that I was able to make some good footage, that it was worth it. Now, 110 kilometers to go on a snowmobile. <laughs> Our Italian friends there are having a little accident again. <laughs> Come sono impressioni da oggi, da ieri? Ho fatto delle foto memorabili, bellissime. Oggi stamattina c'è stato un sole, un'alba incredibile. Manco Pugnor si è rivelata come un, uno dei posti più belli che abbia mai visto e ne ho visti tanti. Vero? Uh -oh. Ma qui, per quel piccolo che è, è un posto magico, c'è qualcosa lì. Vedere un'alba infuocata lì, siamo stati fortunatissimi. Pensi che Man Pupunior deve stare un luogo must visit di Russia? Impossibile. È troppo distante, troppo... Però io... A mio figlio, a mio nipote, farei vedere questo, perché una volta, una. Che pensi di Mani Pupugnor? È un posto unico. <coughs> Quando sono andato lì, sono rimasto stupito, colpito da, da quanto era bello. <coughs> La cosa che mi, ha, mi è rimasta dentro è che, Grazie. secondo me, è un luogo particolare, un luogo sacro. Quindi tu prima hai chiesto a Fabrizio se eh, deve essere un posto per turisti visitato da tante persone, secondo me no, perché merita solo poche persone che vogliono andare lì. La bellezza mm. deve essere condivisa, ricorda sempre questo. Mm. Come ti piace Samagon? È un po' leggero. Più leggero, leggero che vodka? Sì, è un po', è un po troppo leggero, Diglio. però è fatto in casa, molto buono. We just finished our trip on snowmobiles and now we're gonna change our transport to the car and go back to Sektevkar. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed this trip as much as I did. Let me know in the comments if you would ever like to visit Manpupunyor or the Urals region of Russia overall. And see you soon from other unusual places in Russia in my next vlogs.